unlocked my first boss choice pack from the season two XP reward path. Of course, in this choice pack, you have Grady Sizemore. Shout out to Fuzzy for the one of one. There's Chase Utley, Greg Maddox. And I actually think Mariano Rivera is the best overall card in this pack. Cutter, sinker, slider, 118 hits per nine, 125 clutch. I mean, he's got everything. But for this video, I'm actually gonna take Josh Donaldson. I wanna add a big power bat to the lineup today. So he's my first pick. I also have one of the Kaiju packs and I know who I'm gonna pick from this go around. I am going to take 97 John Franco. This dude usually sits between like a 90 to like a 92 overall. So for him to get the jump all the way to 97 is pretty impressive. And finally, we have an incognito pack from the season two XP reward path. And once again, I'm going to take a lefty reliever, Aaron Loop. Funny story, the first time I got this pack, I chose Johnny Damon because I thought the pack was sellable. He had the biggest sell now price on the market, and that was a rude awakening. So I have the bringer of rain over at third base, our two new lefty relievers chilling in the bullpen. And for this one, I think I'm going to start Lance McCullers. I haven't used a season two pitcher yet, and I think he's probably the best of the set two pitchers from Team Affinity. So let's give him a shot. Although he'll probably get cooked considering they still have not fixed my rank seasons rating. I don't know what's taking so long. I feel like they've fixed everybody's but mine. As we get into the game, if you guys are checking out any MLB games, make sure to use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 off your tickets. And check out Underdog Fantasy for daily fantasy sports. It's the best place to play. You can use my code Coogs to sign up and they'll match your first deposit all the way up to $100. Here we go. Josh Donaldson is going against Fergie. I had to move Corey Seager to the leadoff spot. With how good this card has been for me, I want him getting as many at-bats as possible. See what I mean? Corey Seager does not miss. He's quickly turning into one of my favorite cards in this entire game. But here we go, the bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson. It's never a good time to debut a right-handed hitter in Baltimore, though. I'm acting like I'm going to hit it over the fence. That's a more realistic swing for me right there. Porterhouse. I love this Mike Napoli card, dude. Come on, Babe Ruth. We got to get him in. Don't leave him out there with two outs. I don't think you're going to get away with that pitch very often, dude. 429 feet for the great Bambino. All right, here we go. Lance McCullers. Hang on. I want to look at this guy's batting averages. 259, 240, 148, 197. Yep, we're definitely ranked in the 300s. Me, my strikeout on the slider. Goodbye. I would actually not be shocked if this guy left the game after like the first inning. Sammy. Perfect. Perfect. And this is why right-handed hitters suck to use in Baltimore. What did they do to this ballpark, man? I've never been here, but they 100% ruined left field. Breaking news. I still suck with Mickey Mantle. Um, I'm sending him, dude. Let's see if Sammy Sosa beats the throw. Easy. And I'm taking second. Moves him to third. Come on, JD. Anything's better than that first at-bat. PCI was good, but man, was I early. 0 for 2 with JD. Okay. Did not see him launching a perfect blast to right field. Swing and miss easy i know he's looking for a pitch in so i'm gonna give him a low breaking pitch what the f oh no 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 double steal bold move i don't know about that one bro <laughs> this dude literally killed all the momentum he had with that double steal Is Babe Ruth getting hot? Don't let the great Bambino get hot. Is the rage quick coming now? There it is. Let's do this again. This guy has Stan the Man on his team. And I'm going to give a shot to Kluber. This Kluber is not as good as other Corey... Awesome. I guess I got to be on alert for that. I wouldn't be shocked if he tries to bunt with Ricky as well. See? Yeah, this Corey Kluber is not as good as other Corey Klubers we've seen. I mean, 
He's a 97, not a 99, first off. But the attributes just aren't as, you know, top tier as you'd come to expect with a Corey Kluber card. Card should still be decent, but is he going to be a card that's going to make you have nightmares? Probably not. I'm honestly surprised that he hasn't tried to steal second base. Let's get things started against Cliff Lee. Base hit for Seager. Come on, Donaldson. You're facing a lefty now. We're at home. That's what I'm talking about, JD. Gets a run in. Does a job. Oh, and he missed the throw. Let's go, Napoli. Join the party. Get over his head. No. Only scoring one there is such an L. Well, I didn't get a chance to ask you guys in the first game of this video, but in the comments, let me know what you think about the season two XP reward path bosses. Do you think there's five really good choices in there? Is there one card that you're eyeing more than the other ones? If you've already gotten the pack, who was your first pick? Did you take JD? Did you go Mariano, Greg Maddox? Like, let me know in the comments. And also feel free to let me know what you went with in your uh, Kaiju pack, as well as your Incognito pack. Did you go Aaron Loop? Did you go Nick Castellanos in the Kaiju pack? Did you choose Blake Snell? Like, let me know what your picks were and who you're kind of eyeing for your first pick if you haven't already gotten your choice pack on any of those. Sammy! Sammy Sosa, no doubt, to left field, into the seats. Is that my first ranked seasons home run at Bayfront 3.0? Yeah, I think it's actually my first ranked game here. I didn't even realize that. Oh, Fernando. Fernando, into the water. 430-foot blast. Come on, we got Donaldson on deck. Let's get him up this inning. <laughs> Corey Seager is so so good. Hey, Josh Donaldson, you want to join the uh, home run party? Yes, you do. You're invited, Josh Donaldson. And that might be a rage quit. His homer isn't even going to count towards his stats, man. Well, at least I'm getting rating points quick. Hopefully we can play more than two innings. The stadium honestly looks kind of cool. What is this place? Backyard field, 815 feet. All right, let's go. Corey Seager, man. You, you just can't get him out. JD, this is a great place to hit a home run. Through the legs of the pitcher. Napoli, come on. Over his head, please. No. That was the most nonchalant home run robbery I've ever seen. That was going over the fence. Oh, that's actually crazy. Let's pop off a little bit here. I want to get Josh Donaldson more ABs at this place. Babe Ruth, see you later, baseball. That ball was launched and it's only 385. This place is so small. I mean, I guess it really is a backyard field. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my God, why can't I hit with Mickey Mantle? Why do I always do this? Bro, look at the scoreboard in left center field. Look at all those batting averages and then look at Mickey Mantle. Everybody's basically hitting 400 and he is 300 batting average points lower than everybody else. I don't know why I struggle with him so much. Uh-oh, two guys on for Donaldson. Ooh, Sandoval might be out of the game. We gonna see a righty? We are gonna see a righty. Captain Nolan Ryan. There's only one rule against Nolan Ryan. Don't get beat in on the fastball. And I did not get beat in on the fastball. That's an automatic double. Not a bad day for Josh Donaldson. A couple doubles. He did have that home run. I know it doesn't count technically, but it counts in my heart. That's all that matters. Is that over his head? Yes, it is. Nice swing, Trouty. I'm under that, but with Sammy Sosa's power, that actually might leave. <laughs> Bro, this isn't even max elevation either. It's just a tiny field. Mickey Mantle, if we can't figure it out here, I might be starting to lose all hope in you, dude. <laughs> oh my God, I can't hit with this guy. I may have to give him the boot. No, no, no. Couldn't have done that one batter earlier, Bob. Thank you, Chipper. I mean, that I, I don't care what the PCI looks like. You can't throw that to Sammy. 10 to 1. One more now to establish the mercy. How about right now, Mickey Mantle? 
Dude, I, oh my God, I don't know what it is. I either swing at terrible pitches or I just completely miss with him. I, I don't know why. I have always been good with Mickey Mantle cards, bro. This is insane at this point. Luckily, there's a million good outfielders in this game, so it's not like I'm really missing out, but it just kind of makes me sad. There we go. Now the mercy rule is established and we get Josh Donaldson in that bat. There we go. That one's gonna count. Solid first day on the squad for Josh Donaldson. Well, there it is, the 15 to one mercy rule. Bob Gibson did his thing. The offense did their thing, minus Mickey Mantle. This might be one of the most depressing things I've ever seen. 24 at-bats, three hits. Luckily, two of the three hits have been home runs, but man, that is depressing. <laughs>